news. Okay, real quick. Um, big news. Big companies. Making moves. Making moves in the sphere of entertainment. That entertainment sphere being gaming. You sound so enthused by it. I hate it. So I saw that. <laughs> uh, I saw that. You know, we all know Microsoft bought Activision, Activision Bungie, Blizzard, Activision, Activision Blizzard. Blizzard, and then Sony this week swooped out of nowhere, blindsided us with their own purchase, which I don't think it, everybody thinks it's like a retaliation thing. I don't think it is. I think this has been in the works forever. They well, it was like really care. Realistically, it was like 7 days after uh the Activision deal, wasn't it? Cuz like you're talking like billions of dollars. They're talking about this for a long time. Mm. Like Right, there's no months. like everybody's like, "Oh, they're doing this cuz exclusives, exclusives." I'm like, "You guys don't know, I don't think anybody understands what's happening here. You need to be more I, I worried. Don't. You need to be more worried about the fact that there's companies buying out all the other companies. <laughs> mm-hmm. But anyway, so they bought Bungie. Because here's here's what Sony I, bought Bungie. Yeah, here's what I've been kind of worried about is when we think about it, Microsoft's buying up all these companies to put them on Game Pass, and even though they can go on other like platforms, but they'll have Game Pass. But eventually, if they have like a huge portion of that pie that game pass is going to be so uh valuable at kind of whatever price microsoft sets it at so like game pass might not be ten dollars a month after a while hell after netflix got so big and they kept making more they started making it more expensive i would i mean yeah i mean i would say that though like 60 even if they raise game pass to 60 dollars Instead of ten, and you got Xbox Live with it because you do with Game Pass. Oh yeah, it would still be worth it. Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. Like you're getting can... you're getting full released AAA titles sometimes, most mm-hmm. of the time, for free. Yeah, but that's like that's the problem that we don't want to see is that they're buying up all these companies so they probably can go to that price. That's something yeah. we don't want to see, even though we're willing to pay it. Some of us. Well, nobody but, wants to pay more. Right. So that's, I think that's the bigger picture. I'm and just then saying the value. Sony there. buying. Did we, did we actually say what was happening? Sony bought. Yeah, we, I said it. Bungie. I think Sony bought Bungie, though, not for gaming, but for media outside of Destiny. And I, what's funny is. Well, Destiny, Sony really does like Destiny because when they made it more favorite like they got a little bit more exclusives to it yeah, the got, fan base kind of grew on that on they the, got armor sets prior to us they got they got each class got, got, got an stri- armor set they, they got, got a strike got, too didn't they They got two no they got a strike and they got two pvp maps and they got two exotics they had the monte carlo and they had uh the moon what was that the it was a uh, the moonbreaker moon moon hawk or something like Hawk that. Moon. Hawk Moon. The hand cannon. Yeah. Hawk Moon and Monte Carlo, which are some of the best exotics in the game at the time. Hawk Moon's still really good right now. But uh they uh they got those. And they got like some ships. But back then ships were fucking doo doo shit in Destiny. So it really was kinda cool because they had like some of the cooler color ships now. But they confirmed that that's not happening again. Yeah. There's not going to be any exclusives. It's staying on all platforms and expanding to new ones, which I think they're going to try to expand it to Steam Deck. And if Destiny comes on Steam Deck, holy shit, I'm going to freak the fuck out. That's going to be awesome. I will literally be able to play Destiny anywhere I go. And I'm, I that has to happen. But because of the software they use for their uh, anti-cheat, it doesn't work on Steam Deck, so Steam Deck will have to go through like a process of allowing those games to be on mm. it, and or Destiny would or Bungie would have to go through a whole process of finding a new program to use their anti cheat. But honestly, it needs a new one anyways. Right. So, but anyway, Sony bought them, and they Luke Smith a few months ago tweeted something. Saying Destiny like needs a movie or something like that. They said that in in the coming years they want to expand Destiny's universe outside of gaming, meaning comic books, you know, novels, 
uh, movies, TV shows. They want to spread it out. And he said that with us having no idea that Sony was buying it. And Sony doesn't only make games. They produce me- like massive amount of media, more than probably games. Well, probably not. They probably make more of their money off of the gaming side, like everything else. E- yeah. But I mean, they, you know, they have their own like movie studio, like Sony Productions and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, that's why they own like half of Spider Man, because right. they helped them get going. And uh, I think that'd be awesome. We might see, we might see a, mo- a Destiny movie in the next like three, four years. Mm-hmm. You know, and and right now all we have for Destiny movies are fan made Destiny movies, which, may I add, are fucking amazing. You may not add. Well, fuck you. Um, Houndish, you know, the guy who does, or not Houndish, um, Bife, the guy who does all the lore. Yeah. They're making a movie about, um, the, the Books of Sorrow, so like the creation of the Hive, Mm -hmm. and they've showed like snippets of it, they have like a bunch of animators on it, holy fuck, that looks like a, like, it looks like a movie studio movie. Damn. It looks insane. It's supposed to come out, um, in like a month or two. I cannot wait for that. That's going to be sick. But, like, now we have Sony. I'm iffy about it, though. I'm still a little worried. Yeah, I I am a little bit worried with... Because we've, we've come so far with crossplay, and there are a lot of people that hate it because, you know... I don't know why. Well, you know, the console players hate the PC players because they're like, well, they have hacks and they aim better with the mouse, but then... The PC players hate the console players because they're like, oh, you guys have aim assist and aim assist is broken. It's like, okay. It's been proven, um, though, that like you as a PC player can be aim assist and aim assist players can be people on keyboard. Yeah, just, I'm like, uh, isn't this good that like we can't decide what's more powerful than it's like we're kind of all on better equal playing grounds? The only thing that's not equal is the fact that like console players do have to deal with more hackers now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But... I'm like, you know, that's worth it with Connor and I are on PC and we've got friends on Xbox, but now we can play a lot of games with them. Not every game, but we can play quite a few games with them. Most of them. Uh, whenever we want. And half the and, time they're free because they're on Game Pass. Mm-hmm. And, but it just sucks that if these companies are going to start buying stuff up, I mean, we'll probably be fine because majority of our friends play on Xbox, so. Yeah, we're on the good side of the deals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more worried about the Sony thing with Destiny because these guys don't worry so much about it because they don't play Destiny. But, like, for me, I'm afraid that it's going to be another Activision situation where they're going to force Bungie into making the game in a certain path. However, the owner of Sony and the owner of Bungie came out and said that they will still both have Bungie will have full creative control and everything that's been announced so far is going in the same path that they've been creating it in. Mm-hmm. Now, that's for another up till 2025 is all of our announcements so far. So after 2025, that could change where Sony's like, we need a Destiny 3. Yeah. Um. But as of right now, for the next few years, three years, the next three years of Destiny, which is a long time, that's three expansions with each expansion having like four or five seasons in the expansion. So that's a long time of content. But after that, we might see a change where they're like, we need a Destiny 3. I don't know. I'm worried about that because I'll probably still be playing it. Uh, Other than that, though. I want movies. Yeah. I want more people to see the side of Destiny I like, the lore side, without having to play the game. You know? Right. Because there's a lot of people that, like, would rather just... That don't search that shit out. You know what I mean? Mm Mm-hmm. Take the time to read the lore and every fucking new weapon that comes out. Like, oh, cool, I got the auto rifle. Instead of me going out and going to kill aliens with it right away... I sit and read the fucking two-page lore that's tied to it. Mm. Why? You know? Yeah. But some people would rather just watch it in a movie. It, it could be really, really good for Destiny, too. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Or or they could turn out to be doo-doo shit. Right. And then people are like, Destiny really is a shit game. 
Highest thing bought on Steam or as of right now. Just saying. <laughs> Bungie does it best. Hmm. Over one million pre-orders for Witch Queen right now. Did you know that? Yeah, I saw that. And Sony's going to come in and fucking ruin it. And I'm scared, Derek. Uh, not Witch Queen. It was too it was too finished by that point. I mean Destiny. Oh. At least you have three years of good stuff. If huh? it does go bad. At least you have still three years of good stuff until it Yeah, I got three more does. years of awesome fucking play. And then after the... Because this is the story arc. This is the Arthano story arc, they're calling it. And then we have phase two like marvel has phase two we have mm-hmm. phase two in three years it's gonna be sony controlling it it's gonna be fucking shit they're gonna be like Cade's alive <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna be like what the fuck is happening i mean i'm i'm grateful to see <laughs> i'm cool that's but... cool i miss him but, but like come, come on. on the motherfucker is dead dead Kablammy. Still mourning that one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that so they bought that. We're on the good side of the Microsoft purchase. Hopefully they get Activision in line and be like, you guys need to slow down with the whole money grabbing thing. And, well, and produce what you, some... What do you mean? Maybe produce some good games. <laughs> maybe. And Microsoft's like... Activision's like, but don't you just want money? No, we just sent we just spent seventy billion dollars. We need but we then need. but then Microsoft's like, you know what? We do need money to make back. They're like, just stay on track with what you're doing. Oh no. But but raise the prices. That's when it comes bad that this company's mm-hmm. built buy all this shit up. They're also like, World of Warcraft? Coming to Xbox. <laughs> I just don't see that as being possible at all. <laughs> I'm just saying that would be literally the death of World of Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Well, I think the reason it wasn't on the computers or on the consoles is because because when Activision it was never made for the consoles, it was never made for the consoles. But when Activision bought Blizzard, how much did they buy Blizzard for? Probably like a billion dollars, maybe at that time. That was like crazy money. I don't uh, know. I thought it was more of like a merger kind of. Well, I guess a buy, no, they, buyout is a merger. They in they, sense. they full on bought them, and uh, but what was I saying? Uh, oh, when they were uh, trying to uh, when they bought Act or Blizzard, you know, they put Diablo on the console. I think that was Activision going like, hey. You know, a lot of our sales are in consoles, and that's where a lot of, like, market is. We need to port as many games over as possible. Like, what can we do? And then they see the lineup of games that are like, oh, really, the only thing probably possible is Diablo. Overwatch, they were already planning on making for the consoles. Yeah. And they bought... Blizzard uh, was bought by Activision for... In 2008 for $18.9 18900000000 billion. I was close. That means Activision is worth a lot of money, dude, if they bought both of those for 68. Mm hmm. You got to think, Blizzard in that whole thing, grand scheme of things, probably worth like 20 billion at that point. Probably a little more. That was 2008 that they bought for 18. Mm hmm. I know they're like conjoined. I'm just thinking, like, how much do the games bring in to raise that name's price, you know? Right, yeah. You remember when Bungie was part of that? Wait. At that time, they were also... Weren't they... Pr- did they buy Bungie separately? They did, not, separately, they or did was- not buy Bungie. They had an agreement with them to... like It was like a partnership to make Destiny, and that's how they were able to break free from mm-hmm. contracts to... You break free. Mm-hmm. It also probably helps that they own Candy Crush, because they also so that own, was one of the big things. They also own Keen, which is Candy Crush, Candy Crush, and like a shit ton of other phone games. Yeah, that, I mean Microsoft came out and said it's like it wasn't just like Activision. They own like a shit ton of other things that we're very interested in. They own Blizzard, Activision, and King. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. 
you tell somebody this like in the past, you'd be like, "You're absolutely crazy. You're crazy. Blizzard will be the king of everything." Right. <laughs> Blizzard be Blizzard, buying. Blizzard will be its own thing forever. Blizzard be buying all of them. What the fuck's Activision? <laughs> what they made? Tony Hawk Skater, Guitar Hero. Yeah. A fucking one Call of Duty game at the time. Mm-hmm. Shit, bro. This company's gonna be worth nothing. Things have changed. Then they're like, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare 3, and it all changed. And then that's when people were like, Take my money! Activision! <laughs> Take my money! <laughs> Dude, imagine if back in the day they had battle passes for those games. We'd be like, uh, money! And then Activision was filling their pockets. Man, they were like, they weren't looking that far ahead. And then they were like, well, nobody had you, the idea of fucking, battle passes back then. But well, you, Activision yeah, but was you filling go back their pockets in time. and they're like, we're going to buy Blizzard one day. You go back in time and tell them like, hey guys, here's an idea. Make your game free, but then do a battle pass. Don't make it free. You still have to pay sixty dollars. Jesus, this is Activision. <laughs> yeah, that, but I'm telling. If you went back in time and told them to do that, they'd be like, "You're fucking crazy." Absolutely not, because that's well, what DLC like, came out of a few years after that. Same fucking thing. Yeah, but I'm saying like it wasn't until Fortnite proved that you can make a shit ton of money being free. Being free. I think they stumbled into that. They definitely did because they were they made that a paid would, game. That was the the paid game. The free version of the game was to bring people over to the paid game, but yeah. then when they found the popularity was just in the battle royale, they doubled down on that. Yeah, and got rid of the fucking campaign paid. shit. Yeah, because it was doo doo shit, not fun. <laughs> that game would have died if they would have never made a free. Well, think about multiplayer. What, think about setting. what gaming would be now. Like battle royales would not be what they are because, uh. I mean, PUBG was popular, but people weren't getting that much into it because it was still like a paid game. Like Fortnite it was, was paid, and it was it was more realistic, mm -hmm. and it was for PC, and it was on it wasn't on console. Well, so Fortnite was really geared towards could be, have been geared more towards kids, and it was just easier for them to like and casual players. Yeah. Yeah, it was fucking wild. They were like, "Dude, Minecraft's crazy. You can build in that game. Why can't we build in this game?" Mm -hmm. And then they were like, what if we put guns in it? What if Minecraft had guns? What if Pokemon had guns? There's a game coming out like that. 